Hi guys, so today um, I'm going to be talking about the setup of Facetrack No AR um, with a slightly different webcam this time. So previously uh, I ran through a video on uh, a Logitech 720 HD camera. Um, I've since upgraded it to a Logitech Brio, which is a 4K camera, um, and ran through the setup again. Um, it's slightly different in the setup that you need uh, with this new webcam it's much much better um, and you need less configuration on the face track software um, so I'm not going to run through the setting up of the webcam because it's standard stuff you just plug your webcam into your USB port uh, and load the relevant software to start that working um, and also I'm not going to talk about how to install it into uh, face track uh, because that will automatically detect it once it's uh, once it's connected. So the first thing that I'm going to do is we're going to get look at the configuration options in Facetrack. So we'll open it up, um, and as you can see here, uh, these are the standard settings. So the tracker source I'm using Face API version three two six. Um, the filter is the Akela filter Mark II and I'm using it on FSX Service Pack 2. So what I am going to do is to briefly go through um, the configuration options on Facetrack and IR. So the first one is I'm going to go to preferences. So what I like to do is um, automatically get it to start tracking as soon as I start up the application. So I'm going to tick that box there. Um, also, once I'm using it uh, and the configuration is all done um, for FSX, then I want that to automatically minimize to the system tray down in the bottom right hand corner here. Um, and to do that, I usually like to wait. You can set this one 5, 10, 15 seconds or whatever. I set mine to five seconds and I want to minimize it to the tray and then I'm going to say OK to that. The next thing that I want to do is I'm going to save the uh, the default ini file. So I just click on save um, just to make sure I also click on save under the file menu. So the first thing that you'll notice here is uh, when you first start the application, the uh, smoothing is set to one. So for this webcam, I set this to 10. Um, and it basically smooths out the experience in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So uh, what it what it does do it means that every time it detects a movement um, without this smoothing, it will it will move your uh, field of view around, which is a little bit annoying. So I've I've configured this to uh, to ten. And that seems to work okay. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Now previously on my video I did before I talked about the curves here so the your pitch up roll your left and pitch down um, and also some of the translations uh, you don't actually need to change any of this for uh, for this webcam I found that uh, it works adequately well without it as long as you've got the smoothing set up so I'm just going to okay that and again just to reiterate this this is the smoothing setting here for um, certainly for my setup with the Logitech Brio 4K webcam. So let's go ahead and start up the tracking. The difference that I have noticed is that's minimized it this time. Let's just bring that back so you can see it um, is around the movement up in this top corner here. So you'll notice that it's quite slow. Um, the figures are changing very slowly however what is important is the raw input here so I'm not worried too much about that um, the tracking raw input is what you really need when you're uh, on Microsoft Flight Simulator so that is all of the configuration options basically I'm just going to stop it just to show you the configuration settings for the tracker source so if we go in here as you can see here um, and enabling all of the axis with a tick there uh, don't need to do anything else than that and the FSX SIM Connect Service Pack 2 there are no settings um, so that makes it even easier and then in the filter settings uh, I've again left that as completely default I've not changed anything so the rotation and the translation is all set as default so without further ado let's 
start that. And that will minimize to the system tray. Next, I'm going to start up um, Microsoft Flight Simulator. <clears throat> so I'm just going to select a free flight. Um, I've not got my joystick enabled at all, so I'm going to be flying with the keyboard. Um, but what I wanted to do was to actually show you um, the face track no IR in use so I'm just going to, I'm sitting in the center of my screen looking straight ahead and we'll wait for this to start up Okay, so let's close that down. So I'm looking straight ahead. If I look down, the screen goes down. Look over to the right and up. So this is me just looking around with my head. So you can see when I'm moving my head around, the field of view will move around with me. And again, if you want to make it less sensitive, what you can do is you can adjust that uh, smoothing control to increase that. Let's look down. Got a fuel tank of, full tank of fuel, which is good. Nice sunset over there. Let's fly towards that then. It's really handy this. I, I really like it. Um, it. It saves you having to click around, move your joystick hat anywhere. The only thing you have to be a little bit careful of is uh, you are obviously engrossed in the flight simulator so you can't go off and uh, leave it at all because it will track your head movements I look up look over to the right looking over to the right and down As you can see it's all really smooth movement. That's that down there. Interesting, not sure what that is. Some building with some description. Golf course down there. So the setup in my PC, I'm using a, uh, a GTX 1080T sorry a GTX 1080 um, graphics card I've got three screens set up I'm only using one for this demo but um, uh, I usually fly it with a virtual cockpit and three screens joined as one gives me a nice wrap around um, on my visual display so that's it I'm not going to attempt to land because I uh, <laughs> Flying with a keyboard is pretty difficult, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, how easy it is to set up and sort of um, the reactions that you get when using this webcam. So let's end that there. So that concludes the brief demo. Um, next thing I'll show you where you can download all the software from. So it's a source force sourceforge.net uh, project that's where it's hosted so um, if you search for face track no IR you can see the URL here um, you go to the downloads folder 
um, and you can download the software via this page um, you do need to pay uh, it's about two euros 80 I think so um, relatively low cost uh, once you've got the software downloaded uh, you also need the plug-in pack so this is what gives you the ability to um, configure your webcam and also hook it up to um, Microsoft Fl Flight Simulator that's pretty much all there is to it if you've got any questions uh, leave us a comment under the video and it would be fantastic if you could like it if you thought it was useful and also subscribe to the channel thanks